I'm speaking Spangly Khans. Mm, and I smell like dog pee here. At Hey Stella Bellas and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Madrid! Pew, 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 pew. I'm so excited. We got here around, we checked in and everything. The flights were not the best, like quite disappointed in Emirates, but it's fine. We got to our hotel around half past two, I think. So we checked in and then we slept. I really want to go to Sephora, but I don't want to do that on night one. We also really want paella. Guys, can I just tell you something? I've been learning Spanish on Duolingo for a couple of years and today when I have to speak Spanish to people I'm speaking Spangly Khans because I try to make a sentence in my mind and then if I can't remember the Spanish word I put an Afrikaans word and it's just it's a mess anyway let me show you my outfit oh that light hold on okay I'm wearing my bag inside my jacket like this because everyone's been talking about pickpocketing in Spain but Please don't look behind me. So I've got leggings, a, sk a skirt, shorts, this green thing from Superbalist, a black jacket also from Superbalist. I can't move my arms because of how tight everything is. And then this jewelry and we're going to go find food now. I feel like a little bit of a clown because I don't even do makeup like this at home. And then I don't know what made me decide to do that here. And literally, the way the ladies like do their makeup here is how I do it at home, which is no winged liner, no lashes, chilled, natural vibe. So I felt very, very awkward walking through the shopping place with like a full beat. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put this in. We came back to our hotel to pee. We walked. It's Spain. Madrid is beautiful. Like even though it's raining and it's cold outside, we've been walking around and shopping and it's been so much fun. I did go to Sephora. They didn't have my shade of foundation, but I got a few things. Let me show you, then I'm going to pee, then we're going to go for supper. Restaurants open here at 8 o'clock. We eat supper at 5 o'clock. <laughs> I did do a little bit of damage, but that's fine. That's not for me. So first up, I got my Fenty stuff that I needed. The Hydra Visor Lotion, the, um, what is this thing? fat water toner then they gave me i don't know what this is foundation this is not my shade but whatever and then pixie beauty the glow mist you know i used to get this from p in pr and i love it and then i got a huda beauty eyebrow pencil they didn't have my shade which is eight the darkest one so i just took the next one they really don't have a lot of dark shades here then I needed my Urban Decay 1993 matte lipstick and then I took another one also similar color and then Rare Beauty I took these two cream lipsticks in the shade this is called Thrilling this brown one is called Thrilling and this one is Strengthen and then I took blush in that purple color that's everyone TikTok called Faith I feel like the lighting in the bathroom is a lot better with this window open. Just if a gust of wind comes, then it's game over for my camera. Today is day two in Madrid. I feel so much better today. I think I was a little bit like plain sick yesterday because even when we were showering, 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 I was telling Trevino that when he comes to shower, he must just let me know if he feels that if it is the tub that was moving or if it was me that was not feeling well. Anyway, our flights, so like I said in the previous vlog, our flights got changed over from Air France to Emirates. And on the first Emirates flight from Johannesburg to Dubai, it was so bad because we couldn't choose our seats. So we were sitting like in the back where there was not much space 
and it was right where the air hostesses and the cabin crew are making food so it was always noisy always busy it wasn't the best but then our flight from dubai to madrid was good we had a empty we sat in a row of four and i had an empty seat next to me so we put stuff on there we relaxed there was more space for our legs and it was so good and as you saw i watched bunty or bubbly if you didn't see that go check out my tiktok i posted a couple of like what i ate today i hope that my mic is fine because it's sitting on something here anyway today i feel a lot more like myself with the way i did my makeup yesterday i did feel a little bit uncomfortable because i only go like that extra when it's an event at home but i was like oh my gosh maybe this is how they dress here or they don't this is literally how they do their makeup which is fine because that's how i do my makeup so i'm very happy we went to sephora yesterday and they didn't have my shade of foundation so i need to find another one I, I really want to get another urban decay foundation that is my absolute favorite foundation today we are planning it's also gloomy today we're planning on doing some more shopping i want to see what gifts i can get for our family and friends I don't want to buy like the touristy things like there were quite a few little ornaments of like flamenco dances but what are people going to do with that where are they going to put that in their house so I want to find things that people are actually going to like and going to use so I want to do that we want to go to the grocery shops here and get some snacks for the room and we want to go shopping one of the guys at Sephora that Trevino spoke to said that you can get Jordans for like a hundred a hundred fifty euros which is like around 2000 rand which is great so we're going to do that our bags are kind of full to capacity so we'll just figure it out if i have to i have very old shoes here that i can leave behind or pack in hand luggage so that is our plan for today my full foot i will show you when we're outside when we're outside i need to take some photos for our scrapbook if you have been here for a while you know that when we go on holiday i come back and do like a scrapbook of our holiday so i need to take some nice photos of us for that guys the language barrier is but it's it's making me feel sad because i feel like if we come into their country we should know their language i do understand a little bit however i don't understand the speed at which people are speaking so i can pick out a few words here and there but then they go so fast and i'm like duolingo doesn't speak that fast okay but it's so funny because before we left everyone told trevino not to speak to people because um we've heard that the pickpocketing in spain is quite hectic but so not to speak to people because i'm so yes i was getting there so everyone is telling trevino don't speak to people because he's super friendly so while he's talking to someone they could be busy like pickpocketing us and it's so weird because now I'm the one who's speaking to more people because I I I understand a few keywords so I'm able to like translate and ask you questions. Say it on life like three times. <laughs> For a little bit of Spanish that I do know, it's very funny. I've been saying I'm speaking Spanglicans. I don't know how multilingual people do it because when I'm trying to form a sentence, it's English and Afrikaans and Spanish, and it's it's a drama. We did download an app though um, that we saw our transfer driver he was using it to speak to us where you speak in your language and then it it uh, speaks back in the language that you selected but we don't have data like you know we haven't um done international roaming and trevino said we should get a you look so good trevino said we should get a sim card but then we were thinking about it like then we're going to be on our phones a lot so we'd rather just have wi-fi when we're sitting in a restaurant or a hotel which is great. Do you want to say anything on your first day of Madrid? I love it. It's everything is like straight out of a movie. Yeah, it's beautiful. Even when we got to the airport, the customs police. Guys, everyone is hot. Everyone. Everyone is everyone, hot. Everyone like it's beautiful. It's it's, they're like wow. But they're so friendly and chill and friendly. Earth as well. And they they're not like or at least I don't know if they're judging us, but they're not rude when we don't know what's going on because we don't speak yeah, the language people are really helpful. yeah and even even though it's eight or nine degrees it's a different kind of it's just like the weather. city it's i'm nice. gonna try vlog more today yesterday we went out at night so i wanted to take everything in and i didn't want to be like vlogging yeah. but today it's i such a good experience vlog. everything works it's functional it's clean oh, yeah it's amazing it's clean we're gonna be late for breakfast okay let's go to breakfast i don't know if you can hear me but behind me, they're setting up for a Christmas market that's starting on this Friday. Look at what this looks like. Trevino, say hi. I need a girl that can ride with me. Wanna lock down and shine with me. 
Don't you know You don't have to try with me Gonna let go, yeah I'm gonna let go Gonna give you control, yeah One no by us You give me everything, yeah I like it when You let me drink you in, yeah Our room is still a mess I didn't really vlog today because all we did was shopping so I didn't really want to take the camera it's not very exciting but when we do touristy stuff then I will show you but we went to the like a little grocery store next to the hotel and this is what we got I'm not gonna open everything today because I want to keep snacks but we got these Takis Takis Fuego chips that I want to try I'm excited to try that then we've got Dorito pizza double pepperoni flavor Haribo favorites and guys the Haribos were so sweet uh, so cheap they work out to like 20 Rand for this big that's bag and that's not what we pay in South Africa and then we got the bears because we both like bears and then Trevino saw Pringles flaming extra hot chili cheese flavor so I'm excited to try some of these out I think that I'm gonna buy some of these to take back home because that's easy to travel with so I'm excited about that I'm gonna take a shower now. My feet are so sore. We did 13,000 steps today. I'm gonna take a shower and get in that bed. Good morning, guys. It's freaking cold today and I'm wearing a crop top. I just buttoned up my, my jacket. Anyway, we took a walk from our hotel and we are at the Royal Basilica of St. Francis the Great. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Look at it. I'm gonna try go inside. I think we can. Yeah. The gates are open we're gonna go inside and take some photos there if we can very excited look at it this is like the first touristy thing we're doing Ooh, this, since we got here so I'm excited i'm so excited oh my god guys this is beautiful like what oh my gosh guys i don't think anything could have prepared us for that cathedral I have like I don't know I'm say anything such an amazing experience wow, 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 wow. yeah literally I started crying like as soon as we got in there I started crying it's just it's so amazing to think that if we're looking at a building that's so magnificent I need to check how old it is oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to check how old that um, church was but just to think like how beautiful and how intricate everything is and then to know that that's not even like a fraction of how amazing things look in heaven just it's mind-blowing like, being in the same place where people have painted that so many years ago yeah and designed this awesome building yes. and the fact that it's an atmosphere of worship and a place that's holy it's so good mm, and I smell like that pee here this is a museum how beautiful does this look and the view and this is the palace i cannot wait to go in there oh my gosh i'm so excited take your time go slow with me i want somebody to grow with me we're in the palace royal palace familia <laughs> Stopping us, gonna let go, yeah. I'm gonna let go, gonna give you control, yeah. Quando by us, you give me everything, yeah. I like it when you let me drink you in, yeah. Quando by us, you give me everything, yeah. I like it when you let me drink you in, yeah. Quando by us, you give me everything, yeah. I like it when. Hey guys, we are at a, we are at a restaurant that is co-owned by Cristiano Ronaldo. How cool is that? It's called the Pestana CR7 Hotel and it's on Gran Via in Madrid. And I want to show you my view, but please look at behind me. It looks stunning. So we're watching the Portugal match now. I hope I'm not going to get copyrighted for this music, but anyway, let's just see how it goes.
I'm going to take advantage of this lovely sun and vlog a little bit for you guys. So the red bus tour isn't exactly what we expected. I don't know, I think it's because there's a language barrier or there's just too many routes and too many stops. And we have other things to do on the routes also, like for our tax-free shopping things. But anyway, we are in Retiro Park now. It's one of the places that I wanted to see. And guys, it's so beautiful. Like, you can see the change of seasons. The trees, the leaves are orange. And it's just, it's beautiful. Take a look. And I need a snack though. <laughs> are we allowed to eat in here? I don't see anyone else eating. <laughs> Look how pretty everything is. This guy who doesn't want to wear a jacket, even though it's freezing. This is Alessio de Cristal. It's so beautiful, look at it. Look how beautiful this is. And that's not dust, that's just a reflection of the sun. Oh my god, this is beautiful! I'm literally sitting on the toilet, not like doing anything, but sitting on the toilet to talk to you guys. It is our last night. Tonight's our last night in Madrid and tomorrow we're going to Ibiza. The fact that I'm even saying that just sounds insane to me. I'm so excited to just relax. The walking in Madrid has really like shown us flames, as the kids say. But we've enjoyed it. But we've enjoyed it. We've yeah. really enjoyed it. So tonight, um, there is a Christmas market happening at Plaza Mayor. If anyone wants to know, we're staying at a hotel called Posal Ganivet. It's, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. But we knew that in Madrid we weren't going to be in the room. Actually, today is the most time that we've spent in the room other than sleeping. And it's just because we were very tired. So we came back, we watched like two or three episodes of series and that's it. And now we are going to Plaza Mayor. Mm, look at this. What's going on? I don't know. And it's quite cold outside. It's Winter is wintering here. It's not even winter, it's autumn. But it's just the ice wind. It does feel very similar to Joburg cold, actually. But because when I'm at home, I can just say, I don't want to go anywhere and stay at home. It, I don't really feel the cold, but here I can't say that. So uh, please pass me one of those shoes. I want to show them something. These are what I'm going to be wearing now. And I've noticed that the two types of people in Spain, first of all, the majority of the population in Spain in Madrid, the majority of the population in Madrid walks. And from those, the people that walk the entire day or walk far distances wear like a proper full outfit, but then they don't wear like fancy shoes. And then there's the people who just get dressed to go out to wear the fancy shoes because of all the walking. Also, now that I'm looking at my red nails and red pants, your favorite YouTuber, the smartest YouTuber that exists, planned this whole thing to come to um, the Bank of Spain and wear red pants and do a little reel with the Bella Chow and um, like a money heist theme. And when we got there, the guard told us you can only access one part of the Bank of Spain and you can't go to the other side. And you're also not allowed to take photos there. And I'm like, <sighs> So that like put a damper, dampen, damper on the day, but it's fine. It's fine. So that is my um, brainwave geniusness of this trip, and uh, it's fine. It's fine. Also, the red bus tour wasn't exactly what we expected. We didn't really enjoy it, and I think that's because we were trying to like run around and sort our tax-free shopping thing before time ran out because today is Friday and places close early. Also, I'm sure you can see that I've been wearing my hair like this or in a bun the whole holiday. That's because I haven't washed it as yet. Okay, but it's fine. We'll deal. Lisa. I don't know if I am going to end this vlog here or 
keep rolling or do a separate vlog for Ibiza and a separate and a separate for Barcelona. It was but separate. it was separate. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my TikTok and Instagram. I've been posting like other content on there. And then see you guys for part two of my Spanish holiday, which is Ibiza. We're not taking no pills there. Maybe Panado. Depends.